Hello! Today we're going to do some light stretching before bed. Okay. I'm going to start in a seated position. Take a few deep breaths in. Draw your shoulder blades down the back body. Arms on your knees. Palms on your knees. Take a few deep breaths in and out. To ground down into your easy pose, seated pose. We're going to start with little neck rolls, so drawing circles with your nose. You can start out big. And get smaller. Kind of like you're drawing a spiral with your nose. And then you can go reverse the other way. Draw the spiral from the inside out now. So small to big. Hi, cat. All right, you can reverse your circle. Breathing in and out, nice and slow. And come back to center, back to your breath, and now we'll loop our shoulders forward, up, and back while breathing deep. Keep going for a couple more breaths. And then reverse your loop, keeping your sit bones grounded to the ground, firm, so you're sitting up nice and tall. You can reverse it, wiggle them out a little if you need to, and we will come back to center and back to our breath. Okay, now we're gonna stretch out the wrists. So you'll put your hands out in front of you, palms face forward, like you're pressing against an imaginary wall. Now take your left hand to your right palm and gently Pull it back a little to stretch your wrist area. Not too hard though, you don't want it to be painful. Just a light, light discomfort, but stretch it out and then reverse it. Flip the right wrist so the palm is facing you now. And put your thumb on the palm and the fingers on the top of the hand and pull it down a little just to stretch the top of the wrist out. Then we'll go to the other side with the long arm, pulling slightly, a little bend in the left wrist while you're breathing. Then we'll flip it down and stretch the top of the wrist on the left side. All right, now you can wiggle both your wrists out and put your arms down. We're going to now come to a tabletop position, so on your hands and knees, 
Lift your knees about hip width apart. Stack over your hips. Tops of feet on the mat. Wrists underneath shoulders. Gaze looking down. I want you to take your right hand and turn it around. So your fingers are pointing towards your knees. And breathe into this for a moment. If it's too much, you don't have to do this part. And just focus on pressing into all four corners of your fingers and palms instead of your wrists. So we'll flip over to the other side and stretch that out. While you're breathing, focusing on your breath too. Relax that, put your big toes together and spread your knees out as wide as you can and send your hips back and your arms forward into our first child's pose. You can circle your wrists a little more here if you want to. Take a couple deep breaths. All right, now we're gonna come back up to our tabletop. And then tuck the toes under and pull the hips back up. So you're in a downward facing dog. Your knees can be as bent as they need to be so your hips can be up high. So if you need to be real down low, or if you're already up here, you're t you could be on your toes or you could be on your feet fully, whatever feels right for you. All right, take your right foot and bring it up in between your hands as much as you can. If you need to bring your hand up there, you can. Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Plant your left knee down, foot on top of foot on the mat, left, left knee down, and you will raise up, tuck your low ribs in and raise up through your torso, and lean it forward a little, a little low lunge, and then backwards, you can put your hands to the ground if you need to. Do a little back stretch, calf stretch, and then back forward. Plant the palms down on the mat. Step the right foot back and bring your hips back up into your downward facing dog. And we'll do the same thing with the left side. Take your left foot Bring it in between your hands, plant the back knee, tuck the low ribs in, plant the back foot, top of the back foot on the mat, and lift up through your torso. Press forward a little, deep lunge, nice stretch in your hips, and bring it back. Back to your tabletop position, back to your breath, hug big toes together, knees wide, and send it back again into a child's pose. A couple deep breaths here. Bring it all the way back up through to a seat. Mm -hmm. 
and we are going to end it in a nice little breathing exercise. Take a few deep breaths. And I'll start to count the inhales and the exhales. We'll inhale for three seconds and exhale for three seconds with a pause in between. So inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Inhale, three, two, one, pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Back to your normal breath. And hands to heart. Namaste. Thanks for doing yoga with me. Huh. Me and Kat love you. And we hope you enjoyed our little evening stretch.